So what is a mindfulness? Uh, before we talking about mind communication, uh, I think that uh, the best way uh, to understand mindfulness is to experience it. Uh, may I just ask all of you here to, to sit quietly and put down everything and be with yourself for a few, a set, a few minutes and see if you can bring your mind Bring your attention to this present moment. Uh, you can gently bring your attention to your own breath. And close your eyes. And see how you can you be aware, fully aware, of this present moment. Can you see how the way your mind works? How the thought arises? Emotions arise? How you can put down all thoughts and emotions? Okay, thank you very much. I think those who have been doing this by themselves see uh, to experience the real meaning of mindfulness. And you see how it's not so easy to just be with yourself in this present moment. Right? Uh, so when you try to find the definitions of mindfulness over the internet, uh, even among uh, the uh, venerable monks ourselves, we have some different openings for it. Uh, even it seems to be quite simple, uh, but then you find so many definitions of that. Uh, I'm not sure that what I'm trying to give you today uh, will be uh, cover uh, everything that we, we want to talk about in terms of mindful communication or not. Because like it or not, because the word mindfulness itself uh, from uh, uh, this have rooted in, in the uh, Buddhist teaching uh, from the word called sati. And as sati itself, uh, the, the real meaning of it is to uh, remember. But it's not the memory that we are talking about in terms of uh, general memory. Think, uh, think about something uh, that we can remember, but more on uh, recognizing, uh, remembering, or uh, uh, not forgetting what uh, we should have in this present moment or any given uh, situation. I like to uh, 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 give the, defi the definitions of one of the uh, amount I know that uh, the said the subject, uh, instead of using the mindfulness, uh, is the mental faculty that brings to mind and bear in mind. Uh, it means bringing in mind all you need to remember in a given situation and don't become distracted from it. Uh, you experience this in yourself that uh, it's not easy just to be uh, with the present moment and not to be distracted from uh, the thought and emotion that arise in the mind. Uh, so, uh, usually, uh, a lot of the people uh, do make it the translations of uh, sati as mindfulness and also give the explanation as awareness, open awareness, non judgmental awareness, and so many. Uh, and, uh, and a lot of time that we found that in the West now, uh, some people find that mindfulness practice is very useful, especially for, for those who work in the uh, mental uh, uh, health problems. Uh, they see that uh, mindfulness practice can become very, very useful indeed uh, in dealing with problems of stress and depression. Uh, so you can Google it on the internet and you find so many uh, articles on it and so many researchers uh, focus on this area. Uh, 
how this mindfulness can, can work. Uh, but uh, the mindfulness practice itself in the West usually uh, try to be uh, secularized, uh, try to focus on uh, uh, the way that we can practice without uh, trying to add any kind of religious value into it. This come into come something like a problem in itself uh, because we don't know in the long run how this is going to, to manifest. Uh, because in order to have something uh, 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 in our teaching, Buddhist teaching, that is not only just state that come uh, and become good in itself, it need to accompany by panya wisdom. Uh, with this kind of moral uh, framework, uh, the state itself wouldn't be enough uh, to uh, for us to guide us uh, into the the right direction. We need to develop uh, the panya the wisdom into it too. Uh, uh, in, in some way, the state is a part itself that leads to panya too. You need to have to develop this to accompany it. Uh, to make it successful. Uh, because if we just talked about the uh, uh, mindfulness on something as uh, the awareness, uh, fully uh, uh, awareness, open awareness, uh, attention, you can see that I kept trying to, to catch a mouse. Uh, this one, this cat uh, should have also very know very well what uh, he's going to do, right? He has concentration, but we don't see this one as a, a right mindfulness or uh, some other thing, right? Because that the aim is to kill, right? Uh, the aim is to cause harm to other people, other living beings. So. Uh, uh, for me, it's very important that we, we focus on this kind of mindfulness and also another part that mindfulness lead to or uh, have to have some moral uh, framework on it. And this becomes very useful for uh, working in uh, communication itself. And, and why this mindfulness become uh, uh, important for uh, communication? I think that most of the Buddhist teaching we focus on the way how we relate to ourselves. In some way, uh, there's another definition of mindfulness uh, that we translate as uh, awareness or self-awareness. Uh, just like we did uh, uh, as a chop times ago about experience your own mindfulness, that you aware, fully aware of your body sensation, body aware of, you're aware of your uh, feelings and thoughts that arise in the mind. So this is what we, what we call by self, by uh, the Buddhist term, uh, Buddhist uh, ideas about self. Our self is uh, the body, uh, uh, bodily sensation, and then the state of mind. And as you can see, it's really clear that uh, when you are get distracted by uh, your uh, feeling, your thought, your state of mind, uh, uh, it would be so easy to uh, to be uh, objective, uh, to hear things, or to understand things as it is. In terms of interpersonal uh, communication that we relate to people around us, you can see how difficult it can be uh, to communicate when you when you have emotions arise in the mind. Uh, for example, when you get so angry with someone, how you can be mindful and then choose the right word uh, in this situation. So uh, in this uh, situation around us in everyday life. Uh, you can see clear that how mindfulness constantly become useful in communication. And we, will, and we then apply 
and to this into uh, the broader area like media or social media uh, that we are now experiencing. Because uh, one cannot be mindful with oneself uh, and distracted by feelings and emotions in the mind. Uh, so the way you perceive uh, the reality or the situation is not like what it is, what is this happening, but more uh, in somehow more on what they want to happen or, or what they think is happening. So we come uh, uh, problems uh, in itself. Another thing that uh, since we're talking about the, the mindfulness of it and also panya, the wisdom that we have to develop uh, into uh, communication. Uh, in Buddhist teaching, we focus a lot of suffering. So the aims uh, of being Buddhist are uh, putting Buddhist practice into our life is to develop skills that we can reduce sufferings and help other people to, to reduce their sufferings, aiming for freedom from, from suffering in life. So we are something that we can do and can contribute to others, uh, not promote conflicts and problems. By just talking about this, we can see it very clear I don't want to, to blame it on anyone, but this is the fact that we see almost every day that the media now, uh, what we've seen on television, on newspaper, or even in social media, is not something that likely to promote peace and understanding, right? Instead of doing that, uh, sometimes it's even more making conflict more uh, stronger uh, and lead to misunderstanding. Uh, thinking about uh, the conflict, the political conflict uh, in, uh, in many countries in the world, especially Thailand in itself, some of you who study is about uh, uh, or read some news in Thailand, you probably uh, know how uh, political conflict over the uh, red shirt and yellow shirt I see this is a very clear evidence or uh, example that we can see how not being mindful uh, can be clouded at the way they present the news and also the way people receive the news too. I have friends from both sides and I noticed that the way my friends try to uh, communicate about their opening and also receive the news are really limited in itself because they have their own ideas about the thing uh, they want to hear or they want to say. So it limits from even it is the same situation and uh, the fact is there, but the way to present the fact is different uh, uh, for both sides. It depends on how they feel about it, how they like it to be. So I hope that uh, in this way, uh, learning to, to uh, put mindfulness or something into practice uh, in terms of only, uh, not only the, the personal level, but also in, in the levels of the, the media that we are trying to do uh, uh, in this uh, uh, conference uh, would be uh, useful uh, to help us to promote uh, peace and understanding and not uh, make ourselves become part of the problems uh, but more on finding uh, the solution, contribute something that we can help others at least to reduce suffering because a lot of suffering of people come from uh, uh, misunderstanding because they don't know, they don't understand I can't have feeling that some of my friends from both sides, red shirt and uh, yellow, sh uh, yellow shirt, if they understand or accept the information from the other side or the opposite side, uh, I think it would be better to, to be able to talk with each other, even though that we still have some 
this equipment. Uh, but the thing is now that uh, when they block their mind from listening, or even when they're listening, and just like you are, are doing now, if you read mindfully, you focus on what I try uh, to share with you. But if your mind is not here, your mind is running around to some other thing outside, uh, you don't really understand what I try to share with you, right? So you listen as if you listen, but not really, you don't, you don't really listen. Uh, and we try to comment, to comment on it, to comment on what you think about what I talk about. This is the same that people are doing now, and it is cause problem for me. So learning to, to put my mindfulness or sati into practice and also develop another faculty of mind, uh, the ability uh, to develop wisdom, uh, to be open, listen to, uh, open from both sides, and not uh, to judge uh, too soon uh, about other people. Uh, this will be very helpful to, to promote peace and understanding. And this could lead to uh, 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 the community of living together in harmony and also uh, help, uh, uh, we can benefit from each other, trying to help each other uh, with compassion, with uh, uh, to reduce suffering uh, uh, for ourselves and for us.